Pikeville High School and the surrounding community are mourning the loss of one of the most passionate sports fans they've known. Pikeville High School Hall of Famer Ronnie Ford died Thursday, March 21st, after spending over 50 years cheering on the Panthers from the sidelines. Students and faculty are now paying their respects to a Pikeville legend and close friend. Well, yeah, he, he has been around for a long time. I remember when I was playing here back in the 80s, uh, Ronnie was <clears throat> one of the equipment managers that helped out with the football team, and he's just always been around. Uh, you know, football, basketball, baseball, volleyball, whatever anyone's playing maroon and white, he was there supporting uh, our kids and our school. Lately, you know, where he's not been around, um, you know, it's been noticeable. We miss having him around just even if it be at practice or uh, at the games in the gym uh, throughout the winter a little bit. He, was, he wasn't around as much. And uh, not seeing him out on the baseball field and the bleachers this year has, has, uh, has been tough. But um, uh, I know all those kids and we'll all remember Ronnie. Appalachian Community Care offers outpatient medication-assisted treatment for addiction, counseling, and behavioral play therapy for children, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard. Regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, Pikeville, Whitesburg, 606-432-5660. Find them on Facebook. Anyone at Pikeville High School will say Ronnie was one of a kind. The school will be hosting a memorial service on Saturday, March 22nd in the gymnasium. He and I had a, a very close relationship over the, the last six years of, of just him being at the games and, and doing things like that. But um, what Ronnie Ford means to, to the community, I don't know, is, is describable. Um, I don't know that it could be put into words. Um, he's a guy that, that truly, truly cared um, about the school and the people of the school and the kids of the school. Um, he cared about the program, um, the different programs here at Pikeville High School. And there were very few games that were played either on the field or, or on a court um, at Pikeville High School that Ronnie Ford wasn't there. I just watch the, the kids, how they interact with him. They, they always want to go over and talk to him and cut up with him. And because he's, he's always, like I said, just a smile and kind and somebody who just loved being here and being part of something that, and really we were the ones that were the lucky ones to get to spend that time with him. We're hoping that um, we can get all the community to come out tonight and tomorrow. Tonight is um, his visitation at seven o'clock at JW Call, and then tomorrow at 11 o'clock is a visitation, and then the funeral services are gonna be at two o'clock. And I think it'd be really special for everybody to come out uh, tonight and tomorrow and to wear your maroon and white and you know just make it a, an atmosphere that Ronnie would have loved. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.